2015 Infiniti Q50S has not changed much from last year. I still got a great sculpted hood and an aggressive front fascia. This side crease here brings a nice idea of forward motion to the profile, and I've still got the LED taillights in the back. Now this baby, she is all about tech. I've got a ton of driver's aids and a bunch of ways to customize my ride, and with 400 horsepower on tap, it's still possible to have a little bit of fun. of sorts when it comes to driver's assists starting in 2001 when they introduced the first backup camera which of course is now standard across the industry but since then they have introduced a couple of cool new features like direct adaptive steering uh, active lane control and distance control distance control is going to monitor the speed of the car in front of you and if it thinks that you are approaching too quickly it will apply the brakes for you and sometimes it will even give you a little bit of pressure backwards on the accelerator to say, yo, hey, slow down, you're gonna hit this car. It is fairly aggressive and it's very conservative. So it really wants you to stay very, very far back. Now, active lane control is only available in the Q50. So let's say that maybe you uh, ignore your lane departure warning and you find yourself kind of veering over this way. The car will kind of nudge you right back into your lane. So it will keep you on the straight and narrow as you're going down the road. Now, of course, you don't want to try to do that in the twisties. It's really more suited for straight line freeway driving. And of course, that doesn't give you a license to not pay attention. You still want to make sure that you keep your hands on the wheel and your eyes on the road. Now, Infiniti is the only company to have direct adaptive steering, which is a fancy way of saying steer by wire, which is an even fancier way of saying it's all electric. So instead of having some kind of a mechanical coupling between your steering wheel and your wheels, it's just all done electrically. So any tiny little amount of input into your steering wheel goes instantaneously to your wheels and you feel it right away. Now, it does take a little bit of getting used to, and in fact, at high speeds, it does feel a little bit twitchy, but as soon as I got in and I was just able to kind of hang out with it for just a little bit, I definitely got used to it. Now, one of the things that I really like about all these driver's aids is that Infinity has made it so that I can completely turn them off with just the touch of a button right here on the steering wheel. Boom, they're off. Boom, they're back on. So they've given me the option so that when I'm tired or I'm stressed and I just kind of want a little bit of help from the car, I can do that. But when I want to have some fun, I can turn them off all the way. And they're customizable. So let's say I just want my blind spot warning on, I can just turn that on. Just my forward collision, I can just have that. So thank you, Infinity. Thank you for thinking of me. Now I've got six different drive modes in this car, okay? I've got Sport Plus, Sport, Standard, Eco, and Snow. And that's all going to kind of change my uh, chassis suspension, my throttle mapping, and my transmission to give you the ride that you want. But let's say you want to go even more personal. Well, I can go into the personalization mode and math tells me that there's 336 different ways that I can customize my ride. 336 different ways. Oh my gosh, I could have a different ride mode for almost every day of the year. Since direct adaptive steering is a new technology, Infinity really wanted to listen to their customers. And like I said before, it can get kind of twitchy at higher speeds. So they made it customizable. So I can go into my drive modes and when I put the steering on Dynamic Plus, it makes it, it actually makes it slower. Isn't that crazy? Because we all grew up learning how to drive a car where there was just a tiny little millisecond of a delay between turning the wheel and the wheels turning. 
So you go into your drive modes and here I can press uh, dynamic plus and what that does actually is slow the steering down so it's not quite so instantaneous. I mean, that's crazy, right? But think about it. We all grew up learning how to drive on a regular either hydraulic or electric power steering rack where there is a slight delay between your turning the steering wheel and the wheels actually moving. So Infinity builds that back in to ensure that you're not going to enter into a turn too early. Now our car here, which is the Red Sport, has got a three liter twin turbo V6, which is good for 400 horsepower and 350 pound feet of torque. Now you can also get this in a 300 horsepower version, but it's the exact same engine. So it's all about software. So toners, come on, tune up your computers. You're gonna be able to bump these things up way, way high. Now power is going to the rear wheels through a seven speed automatic transmission. I know there's no manual option, which really is a shame, but think of it this way. There's no CVT either. Thank you. Now pricing has not yet been announced for the 2016 Infiniti Q50, but if I were a betting gal, I'd say that it's gonna start probably in the high 40s and the top of the line red sport model like this one with all the bells and whistles, probably gonna be looking at mid 50s. But one thing's for sure, a car that has a bunch of driver's aids for when I need them, and I can fully defeat them for when I don't, well, that is my kind of sports sedan.